Man, hold up. Boys coming down. No, I'm playing. I was just missing Texas today. What's good? How you day going? Morning, evening, night. Whenever you're watching this video, I'll check out top five scary ghost videos that will make you pitch a hissy fit by Nukes Top 5. Look, real quick, before we start the video, you know this is about some ghosts. I ain't got no intro. We ain't about to talk about no damn ghosts right now. Either way it go though. So I just started watching uh Dahmer dog. I'm only on episode uh I'm on episode two and I say this ish is so crazy. And people post are tripping me out online because so many people did not know about this story. And, and I, I I get it. The only reason why I did because like I said, been into true crime forever. But either way it go, it's still shocking to me. Like, damn, a lot of people did not know this. So people are really tripping out. I saw this one crazy over the top post. This girl was tripping out about demons and shit. I was like, I don't know, look, whatever whatever you experiencing, that that's all you. But either way it go though, the uh the main dude, because I told you, I don't know actors and actresses by name like that. Uh, the main dude who's playing him, man, so far this dude is, I, yeah, I think at this point he is definitely probably my favorite actor. I'm not going to lie. When I first bumped into him from American Horror Story, I was like, yo, this dude is amazing. The way he plays his characters is like legit, like good crazy. I'm not going to lie to him. I'm like, yo, this is too good. He is playing this really good. But either way it go, though, I just wanted to talk a little ish with y'all. But now that that's done, let's go ahead and watch some, uh, some ghost videos. Boo. Let's go. <laughs> From the dark doorway, popular Japanese ghost hunters Hiro and Tomo from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film travel to a mysterious abandoned house that is said to be extremely haunted. The story goes that years ago a married couple was living in the house. The wife descended into madness and late one night in a fit of rage she violently took her husband's life and then she took her own. These days the house has been abandoned for over 10 years. No one goes near the place, and it is believed that some evil presence haunts the home. But that doesn't stop the Omagatoki film team. Investigators Hiro and Tomo vow to spend the night and explore the infamously haunted house. Eventually, the two guys decide to split up. Hiro goes back to the car and Tomo stays to explore the second floor. As Tomo looks around, he finds an opening into the attic. There he finds old clothes and pictures of the family that once lived there. Tomo yep. calls Hiro to tell him what he's found. But there is something else going on that is downright chilling. Oh, Watch already. very closely. What up, Jamie? Hold on, we got this a sweet water My bad, I was so excited. I was about to skip his ad. I'm going to let it play real quick. But, oh, we hold on, my liar is not working again. Got to use the candle, dog. Got to improvise. Because oh, usually, I ain't going to lie, usually we don't get the good scary ones until like the, the third or fourth clip, whatever. But, but y'all know my theory. Downright chilling is always his best one. Ah, oh, don't feel me. Also, I ain't gonna lie, the way uh, Nuke tell those backstories, sometimes to me, the backstories be the best part of the story. Unfortunately, I definitely apologize for the tragic, the tragedy. But the way he tells the story is like, oh man, that's crazy. And if they actually found pictures of this family in there, like, yo, that's, that's creepy fire. Hero to tell him what he's found, but there is something else going on that is downright chilling. Watch very closely. <sighs> なんか天板が外れて、屋根裏みたいなのがあったの。なんかすごい飛んだな。雑音がすごい。あ、マジ。いや。やばい。全然聞こえない。マジ。なんかね。大丈夫今聞こえるあ、今聞こえる聞こえ
The figure of a woman can be seen in the doorway, just oh, kind of standing the there camera, motionless. Man. Then suddenly, without burn. explanation, the camera just stops recording. When Tomo and Hiro review their footage, they are shocked by what they discover. So could this be the apparition of the woman who went mad inside the house? Or just who or what is this? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire creepy two-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, Omagatoki Film. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Tim Saver says that he's a new night guard at an undisclosed facility. He says that he's the only guard willing to work the night shift, and for good reason. You see, strange and unexplainable things seem to happen in the building in the dead of night. But no one knows why. Over the course of the next week, Tim begins to understand. I already told myself I am not going to scream and I am not I am not going to throw my headphones to this video. So if you're here looking for that moment, it ain't, it ain't gonna be in this video, dog. But no one knows why. Over the course of the next week, Tim begins to understand where most of the activity in the building takes oh place. Today, A boy. creepy abandoned unit just inside the facility. On night 11 at his new job, he leaves his phone to record the abandoned unit as he makes his rounds. An hour into the recording, this happens. A light flashes and a hatch leading to the upper attic space opens and closes on its own. Gathering his courage, Tim grabs a ladder and climbs up into the attic to investigate. Bullshit. What happens next is downright chilling. Ooh! Stop playing, my bad. I'm overexcited. Oh no, that's El okay, Camp My bad, uh, my people. <laughs> Is that Defertiti or uh, Defertiti? My bad. Fuck. Because from at first, it like it was far away. My bad. I thought that was far away. So I'm like, because like that was a break coming down here. I thought this was like all brain exposed. And I thought that was a big ass head. So I was like, oh, that's an alien. But I was like, oh wait, no, like, like a little. I ain't gotta explain my see right here. I, I ain't gotta explain myself for you, nigga. Nigga. Stop playing with me, wait. Was that a hand on it though? Okay, no, I wasn't there the whole time, but it was there for a minute. Jump down there, a creepy pale hand seems to come out of nowhere and wraps around a small statue sitting on the attic Why floor. Even stranger, there appears to be no arm or no body attached to the hand. 
Tim quickly gets out of there. So, is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. TikTok user Brianna's videos are mostly dedicated to her favorite pastime, free diving in the beautiful waters just off the coast of sunny Florida. Now, none of Brianna's videos have anything to do with the supernatural. Well, except for just this one. One afternoon, Brianna is going for a routine dive when she captures something truly chilling. Mm. It's gonna be a Hispanic mermaid. <laughs> Let's stir this plot up a little more, though. <laughs> Asian mermaid. <laughs> one afternoon, Brianna is going for a routine dive when she captures something truly chilling. Brianna starts to panic as she Brianna starts to panic as she hears loud distressed underwater screams all around her. After she surfaces and disturbed by what she just heard, she goes down again to try to figure out just what is going on. I did another run through after coming to the surface and hearing no one while I had my mom watch me. Figure out just what is going on. Someone was really screaming, this time, there are no screams. Yeah. Brianna is baffled by what just happened and posts her strange unexplained video to TikTok. Now, of course, many viewers accuse Brianna of adding a fake audio track to her dive I video. About it. So, to prove them wrong, Brianna posts again, this time showing the footage directly from her GoPro camera. GoPro 7 works perfectly fine for me. I cracked it a little bit, but I use a case. Um, definitely not a voiceover though, so I'm gonna show you the video straight out of my GoPro. Just like, how I recorded it. So. But how I know this video ain't, you ain't added on this video. Go live and then show the GoPro. Let me see that, I don't know though. So far, she, she proven it so far. Straight out of my GoPro. Just like, how I recorded it. So. Or did he say she won't lie? Yeah. Like the fuck I said, no. <laughs> so, it's not a voiceover or an edit or anything. Wrong like demographic. That. Now, when watching Brianna's original video, it looks like she's swimming through some kind of wreckage possibly that of a sunken ship. Many viewers believe that she might have captured the eerie final screams of the ghost of someone who didn't survive the wreck. Now, paranormal or not, the strange underwater screams are absolutely unnerving. That is for real. I don't know. That might this next creepy really video was uploaded to TikTok by Rosie B from Michigan. The home security clip shows Rosie's daughter strolling through the kitchen when the top Ohio and Michigan. We always on her daughter. The home security clip shows Rosie's daughter strolling through the kitchen when the toddler seems to have a very odd and chilling encounter. I 
I look, I thought At first, the girl appears to be talking to someone that we can't see. When suddenly something seems to try to yank a plastic container of snacks mm -hmm. right out of her hand. Whatever it is, then oh, seems to I. go after her <laughs> toy box. The toddler puts up a fight and wins, and then just walks away, seemingly angry at whoever or whatever was grabbing at her things. Later, when Rosie asks her daughter about what happened, the little girl says that a young boy and girl were trying to take away her toys. But looking at the video, there's just no one there. At least no one that we can see. So is the little girl fighting over toys with the ghosts of two children? Let me know what you think. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. My Haunted Hotel. Over 400 years ago, all the way back in 1622, the old King's Head Inn was built in Chester, England. It is said that at least 13 ghosts haunt the old inn, including a man in black that roams the haunted hotel and the ghost of a young child. Mm. The many spirits of the inn are said to frequently interact with... What was it, 1632, 22? Oh, I believe this one. Because already, we already talked about uh, my, how I feel about hotels. Those are real easy for me to believe. It is 1632 or 22? Ah, oh, shoot. ...of a young child. The many spirits of the inn are said to frequently interact with visitors and guests, especially in the inn's many bedrooms. These days, Ye Old King's Head still serves as a hotel bar and restaurant and is now owned by Harry Achilleos. As a paranormal enthusiast himself, Harry has a grand plan for Ye Old King's Head Hotel. He wants to capture real evidence of paranormal activity at the inn and let hotel guests experience it as well. <laughs> Harry, along with his friends and fellow paranormal investigators, Brett and Danny, installed 16 live cameras to record multiple angles of every room in the hotel. Visitors can now rent rooms to explore and seek That's out dope. their own paranormal experience and they usually find it. The owner and his team carefully monitor their guests on the 16 video feeds, both to make sure that everyone is safe and to capture paranormal evidence. The old King's Head team have collected hours of creepy unexplained footage, and they share their spookiest moments over on their YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. Now, the guests that come to the hotel are usually not paranormal investigators in any way. In fact, most of them have never even encountered anything paranormal at all. So, you guys ever heard of three? Ooh, hey, this is a good video so far, dude. This outfit is less than. That's too much for me. I ain't paying that much. Hell no, I keep my honey $55. Take my ass to five below. Get some shirts. And call it. Pete the drip. Haunted Hotel. Now, the guests that come to the hotel are usually not paranormal investigators in any way. In fact, most of them have never even encountered anything paranormal at all. So sometimes the visitors can be a little bit jumpy. Guest Kirsty is filled with fear when she is asked to investigate the hotel's cellar all by herself. While she's down there alone in the dark, something happens that scares the living sh** out of her. Oh, my God. This is the worst thing I've ever done my whole entire life. Silence is suddenly broken by a loud roar hey, as the hotel's generator turns gone. on without warning, making poor Christy nearly jump right out of her skin. 
Even the My Haunted Hotel team jump at the sudden noise, but they quickly laugh it off when they realize that it's just their generator. But then something happens that they just can't explain. What was that? Something just off camera is just... What, well, just to try and explain here, the, the generator's just gone off in the cellar and Kirsty's obviously cracked herself as it's happened. We, it got us, but something has happened here off camera that has made her now run out of the cellar. We have to radio through and make sure they're okay. In a bizarre twist, a gigantic bang occurs on what we believe to be the cellar hatch off camera and it is so loud, it distorts the audio. To cause this loud of a bang means something must have hit the hatch with considerable did, force, did, <laughs> but we find nothing that could have caused this. Right, we're just heading in now. Her screams and I like, girls, and girls, where are the, you? The, 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 oh shit, oh that's fake, whatever, a statue. But it was kind of, kind of believable though, I ain't gonna lie. Right, we're just heading in now to find the girls. Girls, where are you? Yeah, right, what the I hell just happened? Oh, I am never, ever, ever going in a cellar ever again. Right, so we saw the generator come on. Yeah, which that is scared me. But what, what was it Something off camera? Something just went boom. So it was to your left. We yeah. couldn't see it off camera. Yeah, it was on this side. What was it? Can you try and explain know. what it was? I don't know. Oh, I heard that motherfucker go boom. Nigga, I got to about that bitch. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. It's not playing for real, I'll, I'll talk like that. It's just funny to me. Yeah, what it was. I don't know, it was like just a big massive bang. And then I ran. <laughs> so obviously the generator's not paranormal, but then the no, bang that the you bang hit. The bang was definitely something that was not go, my, my. like normal. Kirsty says that right after the generator turned off, she heard another completely unexplained loud bang and just made a run for it. Now Kirsty isn't the only guest to experience a creepy encounter with the unexplainable. On a different night, guests Janine and Lottie are investigating the hotel's most haunted room, room five. This room is said to be a hot spot for paranormal activity. The child ghost that roams the hotel is said to be particularly active in this room. So the space has been decorated with dolls and toys. And it seems like the two women might not be alone in there. Hello children. We've got a toy here, you can change the lights on it. What was that? What was that? Susie, what was that? Please tell me that was there. Next door? I don't know if it's there next door or not. hear a disturbing bang but they are unable to locate exactly where it came from then a doll sitting on a shelf in the corner falls to the floor all on its own janine lottie and the my haunted hotel team are all shocked by the experience but janine is a bit of a skeptic and attempts to debunk what just happened but she chooses a very very odd method to debunk the incident you evil little oh Right. Hey, Nick, stop <laughs> playing. What? Shit. Right. I've jumped up and down in front yeah. of it and it's not moved. No. Right. Sit a bit closer. I ain't closer to the doll. Not screwing off again. Yeah, she was playing too much, boy. Right, you're in the room with us. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we've, we're in room five, started off very quiet and um, 
about three quarters of an hour into it, um, we had a huge thud on the wall and the doll literally flew off the shelf. So now we cut to another night weeks later and the scariest moment ever captured inside the hotel occurs when a staff member is simply locking up the downstairs bar for the night as the guests are all in their rooms. What a dip. <laughs> the other way. What the f is that? Watch closely as staff member Tom, who has just locked the downstairs bar, comes to drop the keys off. And as he enters the function room, a clear baby crying is heard coming from the old brothel. This is one of the clearest pieces of DVP, direct voice phenomena, we have ever captured. And Tom is left in pure shock, as are the team. I'm sorry, go back my bed. We gotta ease up a bit on the YouTube personality. We gotta ease up a bit. just locked the downstairs bar, comes to drop the keys off. And as he enters the function room, a clear baby crying is heard coming from the old brothel. This is one of the clearest pieces of DVP, direct voice phenomena we have ever captured. And Tom is left in pure shock, as are the team. I'm in a haunted hotel doing some ghost haunting. I can hear five babies crying. I ain't gonna look for not now on them. It's it's obviously this place is going to play tricks on me. Hell no! Stop playing with me. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, the guys are shocked when the eerie sound of a crying baby can be heard echoing throughout the hotel's restaurant. Now to be clear, there were no children of any age in the entire building, and the guys find nothing. So could it be that centuries of history have left ye old king's head as a bizarre paranormal hotspot? Let me know in the comments. You can watch many more guest spooky experiences and terrifying overnight encounters over on the YouTube channel my Haunted Hotel. Weird World. South Haven, Michigan resident Jennifer uh. says she was at a festival when she noticed something very odd going on in the sky above her. She grabbed her phone and started to record. All right, everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look. This plane. Is it moving? It's not moving. Yo, someone else uploaded a video like this recently on a, uh, but it sounds on a like scary it's video. On a scary video, right? It was one it was, it was showing like it was, I want to say it was a plane or something in the sky, but it was legit just not moving. And and the thing like these ones that really give me, because y'all remember how I always told y'all the things that give me about the UFO videos, when it always be one person responding like, yeah, that's BS. But lately, these videos, it's been, you've been sending everyone around also looking as well. Like, what the hell going on? Damn, I love shit like this, man. It's not moving. We're getting closer and closer to find out we're in the simulation. But it sounds like it's moving. Now, Jennifer claims that the small airplane had been flying in the same spot, not moving at all, for hours before she finally decided to grab her phone and record the video. As you can see in the clip, many others also noticed the strange plane, 
and filmed it as it is seemingly frozen in the sky. Could it be that Jennifer captured a quote glitch in the matrix? Or is there some simpler explanation? You tell me. This next video was shared to the internet without a source and after a long search, all I was able to find is that the video was recorded on the PJ Patterson Highway in Jamaica. The recording shows a truck driver heading down the highway at 4.30 in the morning when something happens that would shock anyone. Someone steps out into the highway and intentionally throws a bike in front of the truck, causing a potentially very dangerous situation. However, the truck driver just continues on like it's nothing. He doesn't slow down. He doesn't stop. He doesn't even seem to care. And probably for the best. Because as it turns out, the stranger with the bike was most likely part of a criminal group that was trying to get him to stop so that they could rob him, yeah, rob or him. maybe even worse. And so- Oh shit, real quick, real quick, story time, real quick, I'm gonna talk a little bit of ish. For, for one, Jamaica, oh bet, man, that was the best freaking vacation I've ever taken in my life. Well, real quick, I'm gonna tell you a little story time, right? So when we first get there, all right, we get there for a wedding and it, my family is deep. It's like a good, I think I told you the story before though. It's like a good 30 or 40 of us uh, getting on this bus, but basically it's all running out for us, whatever. So we get everybody, we get off the uh, flight, everybody meet up when we meet at the hotel. I, I mean, we, we meet up at the front and we get on the bus to go to the hotel. So when we all meet up at the, uh, meet up at the bus, we get on the bus to ready to go there. So the bus driver, he start asking questions, blah, 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 start finding out what everybody do at the time. Again, not bragging, just trying to let you know this is why I feel like it happened up. So it was like four people that was in, in, the, in the NFL with us because my sister was getting married and he was in the NFL and of course he had his partners with him. So basically, they all in the front talking to the dude, right? So if we pull up to this store door and when I say it was like no fucking cap, it was like 30 or 40 Jamaicans like standing in front of this store and the store was like real small, but I kid you not, not even trying to see your type. This is exactly how it was. All alone was sitting there, no shoes. I kid you not, look, looking legit thug. I'm talking no shirts, nothing like thug the hell out. And legit was just sitting there looking at the bus like this. Boy, nigga, we all looked at each other on the bus like, nigga, we're not about to get right. Like, we, we was like, bro, this is not our stop. We're going to the hotel. And he's like, oh, you guys not going here? Like, no, I don't know if he sounded like that. I don't remember the accent, but, but it wasn't like mine. <laughs> now, that could have been a mistake. Maybe he didn't mean to really take us there, but. Bullshit. It was like they was waiting on that bus to get there, but it was all there. And who knows? Maybe that's just what they do. They all just loiter. I, loiter, I don't know. But they, when it was sitting there, I was like, oh, yeah, they wait on this bus. But I was like, if one of us would have got that bus, boy, it'd be like, GG. I ain't getting off. Like, boy, hell no. Nah. And probably for the best. Because as it turns out, the stranger with the bike was most likely part of a criminal group that was trying to get him to stop so that they could rob him or maybe even worse. And so, yet again, I will say, real people are always scarier than anything paranormal. Unless you're this driver. Because it seems he ain't scared of yep. He'll just run over your bike, he might run over you, and uh, he'll just keep on trucking. Kudos to you, insane truck driver man. Mm -hmm. right, well. Bike, Keepers of the Old Church Paranormal investigators Jeff and Phil from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigation set out to investigate rumors of an allegedly haunted church deep in the woods of Bedham, England, the Old Mission Church. The brick and stone church was built in 1880 and served as both a school for local children and as a place for Sunday worship for the town. But years later, the small town around the church was touched by tragedy. In 1919, a devastating influenza outbreak took the lives of nearly half of the town's children and many adults. The church slash school fell into a state of decay. It was eventually forced to close in 1959 as the aging structure had become hazardous and unsafe. The historic building is now in ruins, but the church grounds is said to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of long ago. Witnesses have reported hearing the unexplained voices of children, and some even claim to have seen strange shadow figures roaming inside the church. 
As they begin, Jeff and Bill set up multiple static cameras. Now, the ghost tech guys always try to stay calm during their paranormal investigations, and after many years, Jeff and Phil aren't easily shaken. But they start to experience some highly unusual activity that even seems to make them a bit nervous. Well, look, as I was saying, you know, I'd asked for your name, and it may well be that you've told me your name, and I just can't hear it. You, you have to shout as loud as you can. Um, something touched my hand. Something just touched my hand. Okay, sorry, please excuse me jumping back. But I felt, you, it felt like you brushed through my hand then. Let me introduce myself, my name's Jeff. And my friend and colleague standing there holding a camera. Don't say my name, nigga. His name is Phil. So as I thought I could hear children's voices earlier, can I ask if any children can come forward, come inside the church and say hello to us, please? Now, back in the old days, when I say old days, I mean hundreds of years ago, there used to be a settlement here. And uh, they used to cut wood. We've been told that there was kilns here. So it was a tiny, tiny... They used to cut wood. Is he, like, the ghost in him, or is he telling the story? Because he said centuries ago he used to cut wood here. My back, I don't know what's going on. Maybe this is a certain uh, piece of equipment he's using where he's detecting this. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to let it finish. In the old days, when I say old days, I mean hundreds of years ago, there used to be a settlement here. And uh, they used to cut wood. We've been told that there was kilns here. So it was a tiny, tiny little village. And I guess that this church was the center of that village. That was a voice, Phil. So it was a tiny, tiny little village. Or is he just and I guess that this church was the center of that village. That was a voice, Phil. Phil says something touches his hand and Jeff hears the voice of a child that is captured by his EVP recorder. But that's certainly not all that happens EVP. this night. Because as they continue to ask questions, they capture something truly bizarre on multiple cameras. How it must have been different when the building had a roof, doors, windows, perhaps pews? Ooh. What was that, Jeff? Black mast went right in between me and you and went over here. Could you come back, please? A black shadow moves in between Phil and I, and it is captured on all of our cameras. Here is the footage taken from Static Cam 1, followed by the footage on all three cameras from all angles. Perhaps pews? Ooh. What was that, Jeff? Perhaps pews? Pews? Ooh. What was that, Jeff? A strange shadow passes between Jeff and Phil, but because they're filming in the dark with infrared, Phil just can't see it. 
However, Jeff spots the figure on the infrared camera and is shocked. The two other static cameras also manage to capture the creepy event. So the two investigators take a break from filming to review their footage but leave the static cameras to record while they're gone. After they leave, the camera inside the church captures another strange event that Jeff and Phil simply can't explain. Sound got me. So, could the church be haunted well, by the children who tragically lost their lives in the damn cameras, dog? So, could the church be haunted by the children who tragically lost their lives in the 1919 influenza outbreak? You decide. I believe it could be. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't noticed already, my upload schedule is... Uh... First, here we go. That was, that was a good one. I, I was wanting that one, though, that just really had me on edge, like, just debating y'all, like, yo, this, I believe this, this is real X, Y, Z, because I love those ones, man. They always feel hella good. But this one was good. The freaking uh, airplane glitch one, though, the glitch in the Matrix, though, that one, I ain't gonna lie, that was, that was definitely kind of creepy. And it, it started making me look at those videos that I have been seeing around that topic a little different. Now, like, yo, man, I've been seeing these kind of videos, and they could be edited, could be some BS, but it's like, man, I don't know. Some of them, some of them do seem a little, a little believable. But, yo, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and then enjoy my day. You do the same thing. Go ahead and enjoy your day, morning, evening, night. Happy fall. Enjoy your day. I'm out.